Hello everyone, welcome to this Cognito tutorial we're going to be doing today. We're going to be inside the uh, BP underscore user login UI to start. Um, inside of the event construct, we're going to need to create a Cognito IDP object and then construct our SRP helper. With that IDP object, we'll need to make our credentials, set up our access key secret key, and then set up our client configuration and hook up our region. Um, here we're going to get a look at the UI that we're going to be using. And we're going to have a login sign up, confirm sign up, can, uh, forgot password, and confirm forgot password. And here we are back inside of the blueprints. So you'll see we have a login event, which will trigger an animation. And then compute our SRP um, with our SRP helper that we set up inside of the event construct. We're going to be using SRP for an enhanced security. Now on that login button, uh, as we spoke about, we'll then initiate our authentication and our authentication request. And this is all using the Cognito user pools when we're making the initiate the authentication request. And then we're going to respond to the authentication challenge. We're going to find our, our Cognito IDP client that we created inside of the region that we are. And then we have a bunch of different options here. So on password verifier, we're going to come run the compute password claim signature. And we're going to get all of our SRP information from over there. And um, here we, yeah, we'll set up our key, our group key, our salt, our SRPB, our secret block. And we'll get a timestamp and a return value. We will make that return value into a map. And pass in the values in order to make a respond to authentication challenge request. These will be our challenge parameters for our SRP login. And then we will respond to that authentication challenge. And then we will up here, uh, if there's no challenge, we will set the authentication results, set logging in, and play an animation to log the user in. Now up here inside of the sign in, or sign up, uh, we'll make a sign up request and when we make that sign up request we have our client ID which we will set inside of our Cognitor user pool which we'll do later on in this tutorial um, inside of the AWS console itself and here you'll see we put our username password and email and allow a user to sign up inside of our UI We make our sign up request and that's why we'll get our client ID, our client secret, and uh, we we'll use this secret hash for our SRP login and that's where we'll put the email, username, and password. We'll play an animation and then set our set to run the login function, which we went over earlier, where we'll uh, respond to that authentication challenge and all that kind of stuff. Um, after we run the sign up request, we'll need to confirm the sign up request, so we'll run the confirm sign up. Um, very similar function to the signup, but now we're just confirming that signup with a code that will be sent to the user's email, and then we automatically log in after the confirm signup is complete. Now inside of the forgot password, we will run the forgot password here, and we will make a forgot password request. Um, again, we will use that information, and then um, we have a confirm password function here and we will make a confirm password, uh, forgot password request. And set that how it needs to be set up. And then once we confirm the password with a new one, we will automatically log in. All right, and now we will supply this AWS template.yaml uh, that we will be using um, inside of the AWS console uh, in order to 
run what needs to be run inside of the AWS console for Cognito. And so let's go ahead and come over here and we're going to create a stack. And this is where we will upload, you'll be able to upload this AWS template uh, file to create a stack. Inside of Cognito. And um, go and find that and then go ahead and upload. And now we will go to next. And let's give it a name. Let's call it AWS tutorial dash stack. Go ahead and click next there. And now we'll go ahead and configure the stack options. Let's go ahead and set up a key. We'll just uh, a usage key to YouTube streamer because that's what we're using it for. You don't need to make a key if you don't need one, but can help you keep track of what each what uh what you're doing what you're creating something for each time. Okay, we're going to have to wait for that to create from that uh, YAML file. And it should set up what we need inside of our IAM. Come back over to our Cognito. Yeah, you need to make sure the region from that file that you upload is the same as the Cognito region inside of your project. Um, when we create that stack and we'll get a Cognito user pool ID, we'll need to put that in from the creation of the file and we'll get a client ID. This is all that we used inside the UI earlier and a pool ID for our identity pool um, which we will use in a second and we will go uh, copy the client secret we went over to our user pool directly and we put the secret in the uh, to go along with the client ID ourselves. Let's go ahead and launch the project and now you'll be able to see you can test out go to sign up Give it a username, a password, and an email. And now you can go over to your email and get the code that you need. Um, you'll just get sent to the email that you provide. You'll get a code from AWS Cognito. Go ahead and process that, and then we will automatically You'll be able to automatically log in. And now you'll see you're logged in. And we've successfully set up our user pool uh, to be used in our project.